And let us cross borders a bit. Burundi voted for a new parliament Monday in the midst of a political crisis surrounding Kurunzinza's third term in office. European Union has threatened to withhold funds after the country ignored calls to postpone the polls. Richard Tinina has the details. Arriving in a bike to cast his vote, Burundian President Pierre Nkurunziza's defiant bid for a third term has led to unrest in the country, a country that has experienced weeks of violence following a failed coup in which more than 70 people were killed. In polling stations in Bujumbura, queues were short and turnout sparse, with election officials at times at numbering voters. Today we have completed an important project which showed that in the end the democracy and the electoral process are taking root in terms of behavior and in terms of the political aspect of the people of Burundi. Ruling party campaign chief and election commission chief both stated that the electorate participated massively in the elections. However, opposition leader Pacific Ninina Haswe, who organized anti-government protests before fleeing into exile says that the regime is inventing the numbers adding that the opposition had no regard for the elections <laughs> the polls took place despite international calls to have it held off the European Union warned that polls would only exacerbate the profound crisis while former colonial power Belgium says that the polls were not credible and could further divide the country UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon earlier called for the voting to be delayed as Burundi faces its worst crisis ever since civil war ended nine years ago. Almost four million people were registered to vote, but the opposition boycotted the polls as they did in the last elections in 2010, claiming that it was not possible to hold a fair vote. Civil society groups backed the boycott in a joint statement calling on voters to skip the quote-unquote sham elections and urging the international community to not recognize the validity of the polls. Everywhere, and especially in the areas of Bujumbura, there have been kidnappings, arrests, torture. Families don't know where the relatives have been imprisoned in the various prisons throughout the country. We cannot know the number, but there are many, especially from the last few days due to the elections. The African Union refused to send observers saying that necessary conditions were not met for the organization of free, fair and transparent credible elections. The election commission says that results are expected within three or four days. Sharon Momani, KTN.